Atram Sombai from deep inside a primitive tribal group village of Telangana makes it a point to discuss all the growth indicators of her newborn child with the village Asha worker. Navarandava Kanpu delivered Amles Kehi, Daukana Voton, the doctor Chokor Sudate, Pikandi Pedigi Chokor Manta, Nangi Chokor Manton, Samdi Baikun, the Davakan Hoji Chokotayan, Kotagir Putta. Many women in her village have lost their children during home delivery using traditional methods. Sombai's village is not alone in facing the loss of lives due to unhealthy childbirth practices like confinement of women to unhygienic small huts during labor. They have to give birth on their own with minimum medical expertise and infrastructural support. About 56,000 mothers and 14.5 lakh children under 5 years, including 8.2 lakh newborns, die in our country every year. Their survival and better health are central to achieving the national health goals under the National Rural Health Mission and the ongoing 12th five-year plan. To help them survive and based on the outcome of a call to action for every child in India summit held in 2013, 184 high-priority districts were selected by the Government of India for focused mother and child interventions. Adilabad largely populated by Adivasis, is one among the two high-priority districts of Telangana. Here, UNICEF developed a two-pronged approach, aiming at improving facilities at government hospitals on one hand and helping community members have access to the same. Health and nutrition of the mother has a direct bearing on the health of the baby. Considering this, a life cycle approach has been adopted under NRHM, that's referred to as RMNCH plus A strategy. This stands for Reproductive Maternal Newborn Child Health and Adolescent Health. The RMNCH plus A strategy has taken life cycle approach. That essentially means starting from, you know, women who's in pre-pregnancy state, during pregnancy, and post-pregnancy period amongst children, uh, the infancy, the childhood, and also it covers adolescent health. So in a way, it covers the whole circle. At the community level, UNICEF partners with projects like the Avval project of the Utnur ITDA, providing pregnant women with safe transportation for institutional deliveries. <laughs> Health teams make regular home visits to motivate pregnant women and their families by preparing birth plans right from the antenatal period. One-to-one -one and group meetings are used to motivate intended beneficiaries to go for institutional deliveries. In the tribal area, the real challenges are the remote areas. They are very, very set in their own habits and this ones. And also to get our people to go there and work. So uh, despite uh, the several challenges, I see a very positive uh, kind of scenario today. In far-flung areas, improving the quality of practices in the labor room can have a hugely positive impact in reducing maternal and infant mortality rate. The PHC labor room in Gobur from Kalaburgi district in Karnataka stands testimony to this. 
our PSC is situated uh, at the Sento Highway. On an average, uh, 50 to 60 deliveries we conduct per month. It's one of, PSC is one of the oldest PSC in our uh, district, I can say. UNICEF funded and supported this labor room to meet basic standards. The old labor room was converted into a standard labor room by having a proper examination room adjacent to that a spacious delivery room. Adequate space was created for a newborn care corner. This room is fully organized. There is no one who has been in the middle of the day. There is no one who has been in the middle of the day. There is no one who has been in the middle of the day. I have been in the middle of the day. I have been in the middle of the day. I have been in the middle of the day. Vishakha Patnam in Andhra Pradesh is another high priority district with high infant mortality and neonatal mortality rates. Here, in one of the largest maternity hospitals in the state, UNICEF took up improvement of breastfeeding practices as a priority activity. Closed group trainings were held for the labor room staff to make them understand the importance of within half an hour breastfeeding practice. Physical presence during deliveries were ensured to handhold trainees during actual practice. A special stamp was prepared for case sheets of newly delivered mothers for maintaining proper documentation of early breastfeeding. Finally, an effective system of internal and external monitoring was put in place. Even though the mother will not deliver uh, here or she chooses another hospital for delivery, this uh, knowledge helps her uh, to ensure that baby is breastfed within first hour of birth. If at all she plans uh, another uh, pregnancy in future, even this knowledge uh, will be helpful to ensure that baby is breastfed within first hour of her, even next uh, another child is also born. Now, not only that, because uh, many people are counselled, they may spread this knowledge to their friends and relatives. So, at large, many uh, women in the community are uh, indirectly counselled regarding the importance of breastfeeding within first hour of birth. I was born in my father's house, and I was born in my father's house, and I was born in my father's house. The smiling mother and her institutionally delivered child in a tribal Telangana village. The confident nurse busy teaching good breastfeeding practices to new mothers in Andhra Pradesh. The happy beneficiaries of the model labour room at Kalaburgi, Karnataka. All of them serve one single purpose and teach a critical lesson. Health and nutrition of the mother boost the health of the infant. Nurtured well during childhood and adolescence, these babies will grow into healthy adults and these healthy adults will help India reach its true growth potential.